Welcome to another episode of Weekly Wrestling Re- Reviews, Podcast Reviews. And this episode, I will be talking about the recent WWE Extreme Rules 2016 pay-per-view. Right off the bat, I have a list with me of the matches, the results, of what transpired on that night. First off, we have Big Cask in front of the Dudley Boys. And, um... Yeah, just comfort, confrontation, you know, of the Dudley boys spitting a good promo, and, and that was all good, yeah, and I enjoyed it. Um, Baron Corden, the next match we had Baron Corden defeated Dolph Ziggler in the no disqualification match. Again, I'm not a big fan of Baron Corbin. I know what they're trying to do with him. They should build him a better, have a different opponent than Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's not really a credible opponent. Lots of people beat Dolph Ziggler these days. Dolph Ziggler doesn't mean much, you know, in, in terms of win streaks and, 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 you know, in terms of, yeah, win streaks and people to beat to make yourself look like a big superstar. I think Baron Corbin needs to be. You know, higher up in the make card, you know. Then we had Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, aka the club, defeat the Usos. We've seen this match so many freaking times. Um, I, I felt, I feel like we have on Monday Night Raw, and I'm, I'm just surprised that this is a pay per view match. Who came up with this idea? Like, we've been saturated with them for. Weeks and weeks to the point where I just didn't want to watch the main event no more. I knew what, what the main event was going to be and I had enough of it. I didn't want to watch something. I didn't like watching. <laughs> just plain and simple. Then next we have the tag team match. The New Day versus the Vol Valence. The Vol Valence, like I've said um, on my Raw review, um, I think I said that. That they need to build up their character more. Um... They know to, you know, add something. There's n- no likability of the well, villains for me. And maybe that's just my personal preference, but I just feel like they're not really ready for a tag team opportunity, but they got one and they lost. And I feel like Creative did the right move by the New Day winning. And um, hopefully the New Day tag team, you know, run ends soon. Because I feel like they've run their course and something needs to change. It's kind of been the same type of thing for weeks and weeks. So, I don't know. They need to switch it up. They need to bring in something, new idea. They need to, because it, it's been re- kind of repetitive lately. Then we have the Roots of the Fear of Callisto in a cheap way. And um, Callisto hurts back and, you know, she, I hate when stuff like that happens and then the other wrestler takes advantage and that wrestler gets an easy win and the superstar doesn't get a credible win. It's just a win that doesn't mean much because the other guy was hurt from something and that the superstar didn't hit him with and he just landed weird or hit something or an object and it's not really a credible win, you know. Um, so, but to bring back Rusev and to become that monster. And I like that monster, you know, that we saw back in last year until John Cena, you know, destroyed him (laughs) and buried him and also other superstars. And ever since then, Rusev has been in some weird, dumb storylines. And they're finally bringing Rusev back to being where he needs to be, you know, as his monster. This is what Rusev is, man. This is like Rusev, you know. Forget all that lovey-dovey, um, um, um. Storylines he's been with, and it's more like he, you know, drama type of storylines. You know, we want this beast, we want this guy that's a top heel. You know, uh, lately he's he kind of been in a joke, you know, like he's been in the the League of Nations, and it's one of the worst tag teams, you know, ever recently, besides the New Order. Um. Not New Order, the the 
You know what I'm saying. Though I forgot the tag team of the other ones that are worse. But anyway, let's move on. Intercontinental Champion, the win, Miz won the Fatal 4 Way match. This was a good match, but surprisingly, the 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 Miz won. And it looked like Sami Zayn was going to win, but he was outside in the apron. Something happened in the Miz. Then the Miz sneakily, sn- sneakily, sn- sneaky, sneaky win. He had. He had and he, he he won and he stays the champion. I feel like um like with the title on Miz it doesn't mean much, you know? But it, if you give it to Kevin Owens or a new up and comer like Sami Zayn, it's gonna mean something. And that's what the Intercontinental Championship mean you know, so supposed to bring prestige, so bring put it on someone that does you know has prestige, uh, yeah, you know, like Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. So I think they they kind of made a bad creative type of decision on there, having the Miz still be the champion. That's that's questionable. Um, then we had Dean Ambrose and Chris Jericho. Like I said before, I like the build of this match. I like the build, the character with these two, just phenomenal. They they gel together. They they. You know, this match was just, it's just great. You know, it's just great. I loved every second of the weekly promos and interactions and the funny things with the pot and Mitch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, that was kind of dumb, too. You know, when you think about it, a, a pot <laughs> named Mitch and he breaks it. And, and, and so you're supposed to care about this pot. It's not a real object. <laughs> and, you know, you just. Watching this thing on TV, and you're asking yourself, like, what the hell am I watching? Is this really what it's come down to WWE? But you know, this was supposed, you know, Mitch the plant pot, you know, is something creative and funny and something different, you know. So, I, I, I appreciate that. Well, anyway, the match was oh, it was a good match. Chris Jericho landed on some thumbtacks. That was a great spot, um, and and um, it was a good match in the way it was entertaining, but there wasn't really much technical wrestling. And that's the only grab I have with this match. So yeah. Um, next we had the women's championship match: Charlie defeated Natalia submission match. Dana Brooke came, uh, interfered and caused Natalia the the match, and, and the top, you know, and Charlie won. And this was whatever, really. I wasn't really interested in this. Next, we had the final match. The main event, Roman Reigns defeating AJ Styles. Extreme rules. And guess who came out and interfered? We all knew. The club and the Usos. And um, Roman won. In the same way he won their last match at their last pay-per-view. Is predictable finish. I hated it. Um, so still, your WWE champion, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins came back, surprised us all, pedigreed Roman Reigns, and held up, held the title, which means he's coming after the title. And uh, yeah, can't wait, can't wait for the future. Their match on the next pay per view. For the title. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to have to give this pay-per-view a passing C. You know, um, barely passable. Um, but enjoyable. Most, uh, some parts, you know. So, yeah. That's just what I thought. What did you think? Leave your comments down below. And, you know, um, there's also a download link down below. In case you want to listen to this later. We're on the on the go. So yeah. Peace.